Hello everyone, it's Gordo. It's been quite a while, but here we are. We are going to be doing a few unboxings. First, I have the GoPro Hero 12 and its accessories will go to the left. What else is on the table? I have a dive trip coming up, scuba diving. So that's gonna be stuff on the right. That will probably be for a future video, but right now this is all on the table just so I can stay organized and make sure I have everything that I need. Uh, the trip that I'm taking, I can talk about that later or in another video, but I don't have a tank or a BCD, so we're not going to worry about any of that. But this is the GoPro Hero 12. This is going to be for the protective housing and a tripod, Purple Panda, lavalier mic. This is just a Sony bag to carry some of this gear. I may get a bigger bag eventually, but right now I think that will serve its purpose. This is a Nikon P500 in here. Um, a floaty handle, large tube mount, bite mount, some curved and flat mounts, suction cup, protective housing, dual charger with the Enduro batteries and a micro SD card. On this side, I have goggles. That is going to be my wetsuit. These are my fins, snorkel, gloves, and hood. Um, most of the diving I'm gonna be doing is warm water diving, but if the seasons change or I need to be ready to do something in the cold, um, I just got all this just in case. So I'll probably be using that at one point, but we're gonna focus on this side of the table. So first, the GoPro Hero Black 12. So we're just gonna get this opened. Uh, let's see here, this is going to be the charger. It does come with a flat mount, or a curved mount, sorry. Curved mount, let me see that. This is gonna be the screw. This must be the battery here. If we can get that out. And there's a little pull tab on there. So I believe my other GoPro has something similar. Stick that there, don't need that. This is going to be the mount and it looks like they have a locking mechanism. So that's new since I came from the GoPro Hero 4 Silver and the star of the show. Now that is nice. So just a few things, I am not a tech wizard, so I'll just briefly read off what they have listed here. Again, I am coming from the Hero 4 Silver. So quite a difference there, set that off to the side. 27 megapixel photo, it's waterproof to 10 meters without a case, eight times slow-mo, time warp 3.0, super photo plus raw photos, 10 bit color, 5.3, 60, um, 4K, 270, um, and then it has 1080p. This one has voice control, hyperview, live streaming, HDR plus video, and it's mod ready. So the GoPro mod. So let's get this bad boy opened up. Let's see. on there, just some protective casings. Let's see. Here's stickies to protect that. I'm gonna update that. So just a quick comparison um, to bring in back in the four, the size difference is um, quite noticeable. You've got some blue specks on it. This does come off. There we go, look at that. Okay, so that's just the protective lens. So we're gonna put that right back where it goes. Slack back in. These are gonna be the mounts that are already on the camera. Just the little leg, leg mounts. Um, it does come this year with a adapter or a screw on for a traditional tripod. I'm guessing this is gonna be the door here for the battery. There we go. Um, and this door is removable, so let's see if we can remove that. Okay, not bad. Pop 
lock that back into place. So I'll take that battery and we will place it in there like so. Clamp that and see if we can get it to turn on. There we go. Look at that. Very nice. There's some topography in there. GoPro. English. I agree. Voice commands, I'm going to leave off. I don't want to do something weird in the future and shut it off. Right now, it is saying there's not an SD card in there, and I have about 20% of the battery. So I do have this. We'll see how this one works. This is 512 gigabytes. Um, I'm not sponsored for this video. Um, I bought all of this with my own money, so we'll get that out of the way. Um, turn on to control your camera using your voice. Again, we're going to go off. And uh, this is what we're looking like. So it looks like there's one battery there and we got a touch screen as usual. So update and checklist. So again, we'll have to update it. So I'll have to insert it, the SD card and such. So I will set that off to the side, but this is the GoPro Hero Black. I guess we can start here and this will be the purple panda. Uh, lavalier side. So let's see what is all inside here. There's that. So it looks like we have an extension, a very long cable. Um, we have an adapter for an AC, like a jack, like a headphone jack. Um, we're going to have another adapter. This one looks like it may go right into the GoPro. Um, so we'll see how that works. I know I need the adapter. Um, and then this is going to be the actual microphone itself. The purple, <laughs> the purple, the purpose of this is going to be for snowboarding and for um, my motorcycle. So I ride a Harley and I also snowboard in the cooler months. So this will be for that. This is going to be the dead cat that goes over this for wind reduction. So that will be really important when we are riding the bike. So this is the purple panda here and all its little accessories. All inside there. Start with the handle. So this is the floating handle grip. Um, and you can see there's a bit of orange on there for visibility and also a wrist strap. That is gonna take place for diving. Um, I'm probably going to put a GoPro on my helmet, my helmet, my, my dive mask, and then I will use a second angle for the grip. So let's get this opened up. Oh, don't laugh at me. So this is going to be our floating grip. So we can get this. Um, First impressions, the grip is nice. It's a soft touch. There's some foam there with a like a flat handle. I guess that could be if you're if you're not looking at what you're doing, you can you know that the angle of the GoPro just based on the, the handle here. So that's nice. Um, it does come with a wrist connection like that. And I imagine you can just pull this here through like that. So that'll be really nice because when you're diving or doing other things, um, then you can kind of let this dangle free and just tighten that up like so. And then you have your GoPro securely latched on there. So that is actually really, really nice. So we'll set that aside there. And next we will do the suction cup. So from the last box, you can tell the top is kind of sticky. So try not to cut myself. some type of mount. This is going to be for the GoPro. There we go. So this is the suction cup for smooth surfaces, most likely glass. And then that's 
just snaps in place, so most likely I would have it mounted on the window, and then these are probably just extensions, and then you can change the angle. And then next we will move on to the protective housing. And it says for the 9, 10, and 11, compatible with the black. Um, so we will get this opened. I will say that. So that is quite a bit bigger than this one, if you can just check all the dimensions. But otherwise, pretty much the same. The top is... It looks maybe is this a locking mechanism here and then this is for the button access um, so this will also be handy when i'm deep diving um, so we'll put that oh and a skeleton back door that'll be nice too perfect so there's that that's going to be the skeleton door for the protective housing and then it does come with another mount there um, so then we will go with the large tube mount. Next time I'll make sure to get a knife. I'll come with them. So that's the large tube mount. And it has so this is going to be the mount. So, we will... so this is going to be for my motorcycle. And we'll just see how this opens up. So I imagine it just pops out and then swivels down. Yep, just like that. And there's a nice rubber housing in there. So that'll be, that'll help with gripping on uh, whatever surface I put, put it on most likely my handlebars. And then that'll just twist down. And it said it spins 360 degrees. Oh, that's nice. So there's a, a mechanism here and then you can rotate it and it actually locks into place. That is a really nice feature. So there's that with another mount and another tightening. Next, we will move on to the dual charger and the enduro battery. So there's the, that. It's going to come with a charging cable. Looks like a USB. -C. These are going to be the batteries. So they're both identical. And then they would drop down like this and they don't actually sit in there very well so um, make sure that you have them maybe you could use like a rubber band or something and put it over the top of them and then those just sit like that next is going to be the bite mount if you can see that an extension and then another like that and then you would simply clamp down on it okay um, it's a nice texturized rubber and it does swivel um, and then if you want maybe another angle or if you want it further up or further down and then you have it just like that so that'll actually be really nice so i am glad that i bought that bag because it's going to help me keep all this organized um, one of the last things and not very exciting, but this is just going to be the mounts. So we will open this again without trying to cut ourselves. We have three flat mounts and three curved mounts. Back over here. And then we have our 512 gigabyte SD card, micro SD card. Um, cut across the top. That's what we need. And then this will be used. You'll simply place that in there and then you can insert that into your computer. So the way it goes in. <laughs> nice. It's dead. Oh, no. Okay. We are still in business. This is going to be a door for the one of the speakers for water. So this is actually not a door, it's just a vent. There looks like a speaker on the top, a speaker in the front, and also a speaker on the bottom. Two speakers on the bottom, one on the front, one on the top. I'll just go through this real quick. Um, it's not very 
massive or anything like that. But the top opens up. I sit by the top, so I'm hoping that I can fit most of this in here. Um, there's a side pouch, and I got this just at Best Buy. I think it was only $25. So there's all that. That looks like it would hold a SD card. So I'm hoping all this can fit in there. So there is all my GoPro accessories at this point. I'm sure I'll have more things to order. But yeah, this is my unboxing of the GoPro Hero 12 Black. Um, I hope you enjoyed. Thank you for coming and peace.